quad chunky. What this means is basically, you see these. If you press, if you hold F three and G and press G, you'll open up this. Or if you're on laptop, hold CTRL F three and then press G. So what you, so what this is basically is a chunk board. This is the borders of a chunk. If you go outside here, you're in another chunk. Now you may notice this peculiar, you may notice this configuration. You may be wondering what it is. Well, basically, this is, um, this is a quad spawner setup. That's, it's a technique. It's a really OP technique that I used back in Season 3 to get a lot of MCMO points and, um, you know, possibly it could even get you a lot of money as well. Since Raven, Raven uses spawners, so I believe that this technique will, could like improve his, you know, money making strats or money making uh, speed. But basically, what it is, is that if you notice, you try to place like a sheet spawn or something, and then you try to place another in the same chunk, it doesn't work. Not allowed to place more than one spawner stack of the same entity type in the same chunk. It, and it tells you where the uh, spawner is. So what that means is, you can't just have like a, I don't know, like 10 spawners in a line in the same chunk no you have to you have to like spread them across the chunk but what this means is that you can put them in the corners it doesn't account for corners and this technique is completely uh, allowed i've been doing this for months last season and i've had multiple staff see it well i mean i haven't really Told staff about it, but I'm pretty sure slots just took a great look at it. So I'm pretty sure, you know, this is allowed. Basically, what this is is taking advantage of this, you know, loophole and, you know, placing them in the corner where they're compact still. So the they're, they're like in a four by four, two by two area. But they're still, uh, it's still able to do that. Uh, you're still able to place that. What this basically does is you have quadruple the spawn rate rather than one spawner. So if you have this like, you know, spawner setup where you have like 570 something spawners, then you can split that up into a quad spawner setup. What this is, is basically you'll get the same, or practically the same amount of, you know, spawn rate, or spawn rate in general, or even more. Because single spawner setup, it's just like a single core CPU. It, sure, you have a strong CPU, but it's better to have multi-core since it can do more things just like this it can you know spawn more stuff there's no high intervals and especially if you don't have uh, spawners that you know spawn stuff up to a hundred or whatever the killing thing is then it's gonna be really annoying for your customers or you when you're killing them because you're gonna be like hitting them but the, it's gonna take so long to spawn but however if you were you know doing this normally or if you're doing the quad spawner setup you'll basically get a stable amount or a pretty good amount of spawn rate you can stack this up as you can see you can stack this up with different spawners you can't place uh but you can't place uh, it directly on it, as you can see. You have to like use other blocks, like you can place glass on here and then place it underneath. But, and 
make sure you don't place the and uh, make sure you don't place the same uh, try to place the same spawner on this because you're gonna just stack it up but anyways you can stack this up with as much types of spawners as you want and it's gonna spawn all the top I've done this in season three. That's how I got to the. That's how I got to the top of. Uh, that's how I surpassed Potato Chip Binder to uh, in like like twenty four or twenty two thousand MCMO levels. I got to. I reached that in like a week, and this was a major part in it. It's useful for swords, axes, and uh, bows. And archery, I mean. This is a really OP technique, and I believe it would be even stronger in for money maker. This is why I mentioned, you know, how Ravenswolf should use this technique. Because he's a really cool guy, and I want to help him. He's really smart, and I want to, you know, have him try out this stuff, you know, have a... I want to... I want to show him all this cool stuff that I found, and you know these techniques that can improve his money making technique. You know, I know. Like, no, 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 no. I know. I sort of have a jealousy towards him, but look, I genuinely like him. He's pretty nice. He's a he's a good friend, just like Danny. Just like slots. He's a good friend. And. Therefore. A friend I'd like to show. You know. Advice to. So hopefully this reaches out to him. Uh, hopefully this technique reaches out to him. And. You know, he uses this technique. Because it's really good. It's really good. But yeah. Basically. That's pretty much you're having, you know, it's a direct upgrade to a single spawner setup. All it takes is just, you know, some building. And that's pretty much it. If you have one of those, uh, you know, 2x2 two two chunk farms, or 2x2 two two chunk cactus farms, you can actually go in the, you know, you can actually go in the middle and put those that thing in there, that uh, hard spawner set up in the middle of it. That way you can AFK both that and your cactus farm. That's why I say it's really OP, because you can mix it in with your other farms. It's a really underrated technique, and I, I really hope uh, more people use this. Because it's just, it's so good and so underrated. Like, Ravens, pro Ravens would probably love this design. Because, it's, you know, he's all about, like, you know, being, uh, playing smart, right? So, you become even more smarter with this technique. Dude, I'm just excited to talk about this because it's such a shame that this technique was rarely used that season and I really want people to um, start like taking advantage of this I took advantage of it that's how I you know that's how my farm was so successful and that's how you can be successful use this technique and I promise you, it'll be so much better. You can split all, like, all your 500 spawners, like, a quarter each in these spawners. You'll get chunks, you'll get, like, giant blobs of, like, giant stacks of, you know, mobs. And they can also merge, too. You see that? You see that? You'll get giant stacks of mobs at a faster spawn rate. Which is way more than one chunk, one chunk spawners. And if you're worried about getting, you know, those like one million cows for the um, money making strat, 
you can just use this technique because it spawns more and I and I think it spawns more at a faster rate so yeah use this technique it's really good and it shouldn't go under and it's a it's pretty much you know I'm not trying to do some I don't know ethos pathos or something trying to you know say that oh you're missing out or anything but it's a really good technique even if you want to stay with single chunk stuff I really suggest trying this out because it's really fun and if you have one of those and if you have a lot of different you know so uh you know uh hostile mob stuff or spawners you can basically stack it up you know level one zombie skeleton spider k spider etc and you'll get all these things dropping down so yeah i really hope this helps and i'll see you in the next one i'll be releasing um tales of survival soon so yeah i hope you enjoyed bye